Alright. I don't know if you can hear me, but this is my problem. Um, a couple weeks ago, I suppose, I updated IQ, and uh, the problem that it caused was I started to see some stutter in my games. Uh, right now, it's actually working perfectly fine. You can actually see that my average FPS is a combination of these two. This is like the constant, actually. This is my highest and my lowest within the last, I guess, few moments. Um, it's actually sticking to 144, capped at my refresh rate. Now, the problem I'm having, and you can see it's, uh, even at like low settings, it's pretty nice, pretty smooth. However, if I start IQ, for whatever reason, IQ's kicked up on my second monitor. So what you can battery, see is it on. starts to... And I'm not sure what's causing it. But it starts to... Every second, it ticks. And that tick causes my FPS to drop within that second, then go back up like it's trying to compensate. Um, I'm not 100% certain what's causing this. I've actually read on a forum... Let me... Oh, shoot figure this out. I read on a forum, persisted, and uh, even right now, <coughs> you can see it's just kind of funking around in the, not, the lowest is 53. Um, the worst part about it, the part that actually lets me see this is happening is as I, I'm turning, you can see all that jumpy stutter as I'm turning. This, this is where I first got a hint that there was an issue is I was playing a game, PUBG, uh, and I was experiencing some of this stuttery business. Like, you know, 50 FPS doesn't seem bad. Even 46 doesn't seem bad, but, like, do you see how jittery the screen is? Like, that's the jittery problem that was being caused by it. Oh, hey, look. All of a sudden, smoothness. But anyways, um, it's semi-consistent. You can see it's still, the FPS is dragging every now and then the stutter seems to actually have well, it started to go away but uh i don't know i suppose it may have something to do with moving into new areas as things render it starts to blast the fps again you see i'm moving over here it dropped down to 45 on the low end as i'm moving back across to something that i guess i'd already rendered I, i'm not again i'm not a professional um i just know for certain that this is related to corsair's iq now if I go down here and I quit IQ, give it a second. Hello? Anyone there? Hold on, it didn't actually. If I quit IQ, in my experience, there we are. You saw a little dip, but look at my low end, 143, 144, that's fine. Smooth, buttery smooth back all over again. But uh, you can see my numbers are now, since I disabled IQ, it's holding at a consistent negative 142. Like, that's my low end now. Is exactly the refresh rate of my monitor, which is ideal in a gaming situation because obviously I want the fluidity that I need to play a game. It's not just Fortnite. Uh, it happens in every game that I play. Um, I play a lot of VR games. Anyways, um, <clears throat> moving on, on about the issue. I'm not sure how I can continue to use IQ with this happening. Like, it is what I use for my keyboard. I have a K95 Platinum. I have a Dark Core RGB, the wireless. I have a Void Pro on my head right now. I have two sticks of, you know, the DDR4 Vengeance uh, RGB RAM. I have a uh, H100i Platinum, the RGB one, and I just... I need Corsair's IQ in order to manage all my lighting. And it's absolutely awful to think that I can't have that on at the same time as playing a game because that's kind of when I'd like it the most. Um, if not for, you know, the badass lighting, just for specifically my profiles. Uh, my profiles, that includes my sensitivity on my mouse. That's pretty important to me. Or anybody who's like even relatively competitive with gaming, um, 
I guess I could say like some of the random various macros I have set up on my platinum. But anyway, I don't know. Squire. Hopefully this will be able to help somebody. Uh, I guess I'm gonna upload it to YouTube or something like that. I, fuck, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna try to link this to people in random various forums who are having the same issue, and I've I I freaked out. Uh, I reinstalled Windows. I did everything I could. It was terrible. <clears throat> I was very very upset when I found out that the answer was like right in front of me the entire time. Uh, especially after freshly installing Windows again for the first time in three years on the same system. Anyways. I don't know, I'll just, hopefully somebody important gets a hold of this so they can fix it, I guess. But, uh, anywho, yeah, that's, I guess that's all I got. Uh, but, you know, thanks f whomever may be looking at this. Uh, hopefully some Corsair developers, I hope. Um, just so we can get, I guess, a fix. Um, again, I'm not sure exactly, like, what's causing it, or maybe it's something with my specific system, because I know that certain combinations of hardware uh, in combination with their respective softwares uh, more specifically the drivers that run those hardwares with your system can interfere Thank with one another and in this case it seems like something within IQ uh, be it just a service or a uh, process of some sort uh, whatever it is maybe even a driver I've already tried updating all my drivers to all my Corsair devices to see if that would reinstall a driver if it were like a bad driver misbehaving. Um, <clears throat> real quick, there was actually this uh, this tool that I had used to measure the amount of latency that your uh, drivers were causing with each other, and I noticed just randomly unplugging things in my in temporary insanity over how frustrating this whole situation's been. Um, I unplugged my keyboard. And I watched my FPS go from like, you know, the low end 50 up to 144 and just sit there for a minute. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me, right? So uh, sure enough, I go and uninstall IQ and restart, load up. You know, Fortnite's my testing game because it has a really good FPS counter that keeps really good track of it. So I go and, you know, load up Fortnite, uh, jump into the playground or whatever this is, creative, and come to find out. It's perfect now, uh, and it's because I uninstalled IQ, and that's not something that I want to be like, you know, proud of. Like, oh yeah, I uninstalled IQ, that crappy blah blah blah. No, I, I love IQ. Um, pretty much exclusively been what I use since uh, I got rid of my first gaming mouse, which was a Razer Ouroboros, and I was using Synapse, and I didn't like it. <coughs> Granted, the the mouse was okay, but I didn't like Razer, you know, they were overpriced and kind of flimsy and broken products, but ever since I got into Corsair stuff, I've just been really excited about what I was involved in, I guess, and I don't know, it was nice, it's, it's nice, I like IQ a lot, and I don't want to have to keep it uninstalled just so I can play games, uh, it's terrible, it affects every single game as long as IQ is on, uh, from what I can tell, I just... Look at my desktop. My desktop used to be so not this. It's just mind-bogglingly frustrating. In any case, I really hope somebody important's got a hold of this. Just so they can help, hopefully, help figure this out for people who it does affect. You know, just, we're the little guys, I guess. Anyways, again, thanks for watching. Sorry to make this so long-winded. I like to talk, if you can't tell. But uh, hopefully this gets to somebody who might need it. And if you did, I mean, not to sound like a dick, but you're welcome. Because I've been searching for this solution for like two weeks. And I just now found it. So, yeah, I got your back, I guess. Anyways, take it easy, guys.